So we want to calculate the coefficient of static friction that would keep the hoop from sliding ever so slightly right here on the inclined plane, whose angle is theta. Um, so we want to first start with our force diagram. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to do a, f a vector that goes from the center of the hoop straight downward. Um, try that again. Uh, so it goes from here straight down. Uh, it's about right, right there. And make that an arrow. And then, of course, we have our normal force, which goes from the center up like so and make that also an arrow like this we'll label that as our normal force this will be the weight of the hoop in the direction of the center of the earth so we'll call that mg um, if we draw our components we'd see that uh, the hoop will want to go this way so we're going to draw our, uh, our components this way like so and then, of course, in this direction, keeping in mind that there are only real force is gravity here acting on the hoop. So the weight of the object is our, our, our only force. Um, so then this, this component here would be our mg times sine of the angle theta, right? Because our angle here is theta, and if because of similar triangles, this angle here is theta, so that's in the y direction on this triangle. And this way, this, this component here would be mg cosine theta, okay? Now, we know that friction, frictional force, F, is defined as the coefficient of friction, in this case, a static friction, times a normal force. And the normal force, of course, is N. So we're gonna say N minus the opposite direction um, reaction force would be Mg cos theta. And because this object is not accelerating up or down in this direction, then this would have to be equal to zero. Okay, so we can solve for n here. This would be n equals mg cosine theta. And we can actually substitute that into the frictional force, F equals mu s. And then mg cosine of theta like this. Now, mg sine theta is going in this direction something is opposing it of course that would be the frictional force going in this direction so that friction would be this way and of course there's also a tension on this string here not labeled we're going to call it t um, now because um, this is in in static equilibrium you can see that the force here is like a torque where the radius of the circle here is our moment arm, so R multiplied by T will be equal to R multiplied by the frictional force. So we can see then that the tension and the frictional force are congruent or rather equal. So we can say then T is really equal to the frictional force here. So then we can write our components here, mg sine theta minus these two forces, Tn frictional force, but those are equal, so that's gonna be twice the frictional force. Uh, and everything has to be set equal to, uh, I believe, zero, okay? However, now we have to substitute our frictional force into this equation here. So we're going to have mg sine theta 
minus twice the frictional force, which is all this over here. Coefficient of friction like this. Multiply that by mg cosine theta equals zero. And as you can see, we can divide everything by mg. So that drops out. Divide everything by mg. And of course, if I divide here by mg, it's still zero. So I get sine of theta minus twice the coefficient of static friction times the cosine of theta here, like so. Okay, so if I move this to the other side of the equal sign, I'm going to have sine, one second, the sine of theta equals twice the coefficient of static friction times the cosine of the angle theta. And since we are solving for the coefficient of friction, I can divide both sides by 2 cos theta. 2 cos theta. Because the only thing that was given in our problem was theta, my answer has to be in terms of theta. So that cancels out here, that cancels us there. So then our coefficient of friction is given as um, 1 half sine of theta over cosine theta, which can be simplified to one half uh, tangent of theta. And, and if I simplify a little bit better, make that mu sub s equals one half tangent theta. This is one of the, one of my favorite problems to explain. Um, and I hope that uh, illustrates the use of the coefficient of friction, um, the vector um, vector uh, components, and a little bit of torque involved in there. So all that roll into one problem. Hope it helps. <laughs>